Hey, it's Josh with the Bob and Tom Show. I'm here at the American Ninja Warrior set, and I am actually going to attempt to run this course. Now, most people work years training and building up their strength and confidence to tackle this obstacle course. Uh, I am merely just going to give it my best, uh, essentially disrespecting and making a mockery of the entire American Ninja Warrior system. We're here with Jesse Lebrecht, one of the top ninjas of American Ninja Warrior. Hey, I'm here with Drew Jesh uh, Dreschel, actual uh, American Ninja Warrior. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm here with uh, Stan. Stan, is this your first time running the course? It is my first oh, time. Oh, excellent, yes. excellent. Now, Jesse, I'm going to run this course, or at least I'm going to attempt to. What would you recommend in terms of uh, stretching beforehand? Uh, it's always been kind of my opinion that uh, less is more when it comes to stretching. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. Maybe <laughs> maybe a few of these, maybe a couple of these. Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd want to do all dynamic stretches, you know, a little bit of maybe running, little strides, a couple things, just to get your blood moving in your legs uh, is kind of what I'd suggest. Okay, I may, I, I, I may have to disagree with you. I, I, I think that's... I mean, just from a health perspective, I don't think that's the right way to go. Yeah, you, less is more, so yeah. like nothing, maybe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, may, less is more, maybe... Like maybe just walking up the maybe steps. Maybe actually nothing is more. Oh, okay. Is there a way to be sort of lifted onto the platform as opposed to having to do the steps? We could probably get a ramp and then just wheel you. Okay, all right, yeah, that'd be sort of Hannibal Lecter style? Yeah. Okay, good. Definitely. Well, I first recommend that you need to develop confidence in your footwork. What you would need to do is uh, go to the first step, jump on it, get a feel for it, and then two step to the second, jump over, hold on to it, and then grab the rope. Okay, cool. And I appreciate you uh, walking me all the way through to the rope as if I'm actually going to make it that far. I, I, I do appreciate that. Right. What do you uh, eat before you, you run the course? Do you eat or? Uh, I definitely eat. Food is the thing that my body needs, so I do eat food. So uh, lots of chicken, lots of vegetables. Simple, basic thing, that's about it. Okay, yeah, I'd say I've, I've, I've pretty much stayed on that sort of regimen. Uh, you know, I had some pancakes and eggs and stuff like that. Oh, no kidding, yeah. okay. Are you allowed to gamble on uh, any of these? Can you bet on yourself to I win or lose? Never thought about that. If you were to gamble on me making it past this first obstacle, what, what, uh, how do you think you'd bet? Uh, what's your experience with doing obstacles? Oh, uh, absolutely none. None? Yeah. Okay, well, good luck, and I'm not putting any money for you to pass it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dumb guy here. Yeah, yeah. Well, any last, uh, last advice for me before I give this a shot? Um, so have you, like, really trained for it? Have you done anything, you know, been on a course at all? No, no, not none. No. Um, I mean, you could not do it. Up next, one of the hosts of the nationally syndicated radio program, The Bob and Tom Show, it's the legendary Josh Arnold. Josh, a self-proclaimed nacho enthusiast, enjoys writing, reading, and even watching movies, so pretty much anything that requires the least amount of physical exertion possible. Thank you. Thank you. Arnold taking a moment to ineffectually move his limbs. Looks like he might have broken something there. Perhaps shaking off some of the crumbs or something. Those are, is that nacho cheese or blood coming out of his mouth there? Josh successfully makes his way into the first of the floating steps. Going for the next step. Oh, <laughs> fails miserably as of course we knew he would. Let's take a look at that replay. As you can see, it looks as though Josh makes no effort at all to reach the second step. But sadly, I do believe he was actually trying. You know, one thing Josh realizes, gravity applies doubly to him. Look at this man. It looks like he's built out of iron. Now, some of you at home may be thinking there was an awful lot of buildup for such a small payoff, but look at it this way. It's the same thing if you sleep with him. But for those of you feeling ripped off, here's some footage of him walrusing his way out of the pool. <laughs> Oh, somebody give him a fish. Good effort, Josh. Look at that disgusting mess of a man. One can only hope he has no living relatives to be disgraced by such a shameful display of inability. And that's our American Ninja Warrior. 
Well, I really appreciate you doing it, not making me do it. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It was a pleasure to do it. Uh, did, you, did you have any critiques for my run at all? Well, you know, I really like the confidence wearing a cup displays. The fact that A, you thought you were going to take a shot there, and B, that you thought as poorly as you did, you were going to need need the function of whatever's behind the cup afterwards. Oh, so, I mean, would you really say that I did poorly? I don't know. Why Listen, you, let me be honest. I, I, uh, I, I fell. Well, hold on, hold on. So, just so you know, I played in the NFL, and yes, you know, we were required to wear cups, not right. that we did. Why are you wearing a cup? <laughs> I got a couple things I want to protect. <laughs> now, I, I, I mock you in full disclosure, every time I host, I'm wearing a cup too. <laughs> so, Smart. just in case something goes on, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to become a soprano up there. I rely on being able to say, American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Okay, well, I ran the course, and as you saw, I did uh, my very best. I got farther than I thought I would, quite honestly. And uh, that concludes our trip here to American Ninja Warrior Indianapolis. We'll see you guys next time.